What's up guys, it's Fieve Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you some more insane trading methods that are going to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 21. So if you are enjoying the content, I ask that you jump over to the channel here and you hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit right around 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21. So if you would, please go subscribe to the channel. And if you do enjoy live streams, make sure to go check me out on Twitch as well. We do all sorts of pack openings, road to glory stuff, trading tips, all the stuff you want to see live on Twitch. So please go drop me a follow and just kind of check it out. It's always a good time in the live streams. And if you are looking for some more free trading advice, make sure to check out the Footmaster Discord in the description down below. All sorts of people in that Discord giving very good trading tips, free to enter, just use the link in the description. And with all that said, let's jump right into these trading methods. So the first one we have for you going to be very, very simple. We're first just going to go gold rare, Argentinian, and position center backs. So in this filter, there's going to be two main cards we're looking for. Martinez Corta here in the Serie A, and then Abraham here in the Bundesliga. So if we go ahead and look at the price of these cards, they are up quite a bit right now, which is what we're looking for. We like when these filters are expensive. Martinez Quartz are here going for about 2,500 by the looks of things. So 2,600 we're gonna be able to sell them for. So selling at 2,600, you're gonna lose 130 coins on tax. So we're gonna snipe at 2,400 here. So we are making profit on every card we pick up here, which is very, very nice. A minimum of 70 coins profit, obviously up to like 2,000 coins profit per card. Now, what you're gonna wanna do, come through first and just bid on all the cards that are available. Not many, as you can see. So people really paying attention to these, to these filters, these rare gold Argentinian center backs because they are up in price. But you're going to go through, place all those bids, and then you're going to come back over here and kind of snipe cards while you're waiting for your bids to expire. It just gives you the chance of picking cards up on bid and sniping these cards. Just multiple ways of making coins and trying to be the most efficient we can with our coins and try to make as many coins as possible. This filter is just nice because a lot of people don't realize that even though these cards, they aren't really meta in game anymore, they aren't used, they don't realize how expensive these cards are due to certain SBCs that come out. It seems like they almost always go up when marquee matchups comes out. So always a good investment as well if you guys see these cards to be super cheap. But moving into our next filter here, we are actually gonna go over to the Spanish league here, to one of my favorite filters. We're gonna be looking at Atletico Madrid gold center backs. Now in this filter, there's five cards we're gonna be looking for. We have Jimenez, we have Felipe, Mario Hermoso, Savage, and then there's one more here that we haven't seen. His name is Perez, he's also a common gold, or he's on that page. So if we go ahead and take a look again, Cards that typically hold their value really, really well, these Atletico Madrid center backs. As you can see, Savage is the cheapest. He's going to be selling for about 2,000 coins, as you can see. So selling for 2,000, you're going to lose 100 on tax. So we're going to snipe for 1,800 here. So we're making a minimum of 100 coins per card, always making profit on everything we pick up, which is what we're looking for. So again, come through here. 1800 place all the bids that you can try to pick up as many cards as, as possible and as you can see even these 84s have open bids right now so late at night here we might be able to pick up some cards just because people aren't really paying attention to the bids so could potentially be some big coins that can be made here but again while you're waiting for those bids to expire don't just go stare at them you're going to come back over here and you're going to go back to sniping and hopefully hit something while you're waiting for those bids to expire and then just kind of rotate back and forth between sniping and checking on the cards that you've bid on to make sure you're winning as many as possible and again, you need to keep in mind that with those 84 rated cards like Felipe and Jimenez, they are going to be going a lot more than the rest of these cards that are going for like 2,000. So keep that in mind when you're bidding on them. Like if we go take a look at Brazilian center back here, I mean, Felipe is going right, he's over 10,000 coins by the looks of things. He's right around that 11,000 coin mark. Yeah, one there for 10.5. He's selling about 11,000. So you need to keep that in mind as well with those 84 rated cards. And with any filter in general, some cards will be going for more than others. So you can kind of bid higher on those cards that sell for more. Just kind of something simple to keep in mind. 
just you don't have to bid the same exact price on everything and these guys still only an 850 coin bid on them from us so we could get pretty lucky here we'll keep that in mind two and a half minutes on that Jimenez and we'll make sure to check his price here as well now we do have a third and final filter to get to but there could be some good coins to be made here so yeah again he's going about 11k so they're right around the same price those two um, so we'll show you our third and final filter here. It's going to be a very simple one, one we've showed you before. It's just going to be gold Manchester City defenders. There's so many players in this filter. Fernandinho, Mendy, Ruben Diaz, Stone, Zinchenko, Walker, Ake. So many. And the, they always hold their price as well because of the Premier League SBC. These guys are typically typically going for a decent amount, especially when marquee matchups comes out. Now, they're a little bit cheap right now with the supply of the new Future Stars team, but Zinchenko going for 1200 Now, selling at 1200 you only lose 60 on tax, so you can actually snipe for 1100 here and still make profit on every card. And again, this is going to be a good one to bid on. You're probably going to win a lot of Zinchenko's for really cheap. Maybe get some Ake's for min price. Just a lot, a lot of different ways to make coins with this filter because of the mass amount of players in it. And then obviously, some players do go for more like an 84 Fernandinho. You can bid more on um, something like Ruben Diaz, who's out of packs right now. I know he's going like over 3,000 3, coins, 3,000 coins get the words out. There we go. So yeah, a lot of them go different prices. So just keep that in mind because you can put different amounts on them. And we're back over to our bids here because we do want to try to win these Jimenez here and these Felipe's with only still under 6,000 coin bids on them and under like a minute to go about. Yeah, under a minute to go here. And we know he sells about 11,000 coins. So we're going to keep an eye on these cards here. Hopefully, get some good wins on bid because we are working towards getting that team of the year KDB in the squad and we would love to make some easy coins on these cards right here so yeah sometimes when you do see some good value in trying to win a bid you're just gonna kind of abandon sniping for the time being let that go and then just get back to it once you're done kind of bidding on these cards it really just comes down to what you think is more worth your time and right now I think trying to win these cards could be wor more worth my time now again, it could just come down to it where someone bids too much and we end up not getting any of these cards just because people bid too high on them and we can't make profit anymore. But I think it could definitely be worth it. So we're going to come through here, try to win some of these cards on bid and hopefully make some good coins here. So we'll stick around here. People still bidding on these though. Up to uh, up to about 8,000 now, which kind of sucks. I was hoping we'd, we would be able to pick them up for nice and cheap. But if it goes past like 9,500, I'm probably just going to let it go. We'll bid 9K here on both of these and just kind of see what happens. But past 9,500, we'll just kind of let it go. Because selling it at 11K, we're going to lose... I mean, we don't want to lose 500 on tax. That's not bad at all. So you know what? We'll bid 9,500 here. And then if we do get outbid, we'll just kind of let those cards go. Not a big deal at all. Again, this last one here, we'll bid 9,500 and let us see we have been outbid so we're gonna let that go but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video